Hello and welcome to DIY Fidget Toys. My name is Kai and I would like to begin by acknowledging that we are on Treaty 6 territory, the traditional homeland of the Métis. Now, today we are going to be making a super simple fidget toy that is composed of different boxes glued together. And each box is made of two squares of paper. And all we're going to need to do this are 14 sheets of paper and some glue. And we're going to want seven sheets of each color. And I did mine in pink and red. Now, the first thing you're going to need to do to create this toy is to make some squares out of your paper. So I have two sheets of paper here and we're going to turn each one into a square. So the easiest way to do that is to fold it down like this and get that corner nice and then just straight out like that. Now if you'd like you can cut across there or I didn't bring any scissors with me so we're going to do it this way where you fold that up just to line up with the edge of the paper here and I use my nails to make that crease a little more defined and open it up and then we're just going to rip it straight down just like that and then you'll have a piece of paper like this you can recycle that or set it aside for future projects we're going to set the red square aside and grab our pink and we're just going to do the same thing here okay now that you've got two sheets of paper like this, we're going to make our first cube. So in order to do that, we are going to take the opposite corner. So we had it folded like this. We're going to open it up and we're going to fold the other corner to corner. Just like that. And this doesn't have to be perfect. None of the folds do. They all seem to work out just as good as long as you're getting the general idea. And then we're going to take the point and we're going to fold it to the middle just like that. Like that. Then we're going to rotate it and do the same thing on the other side. We're going to fold the point here to the middle. Just like that. And then we're going to take this edge and we're going to fold that to the middle. And if you'd like, you can use the line. It should line up, but like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. So there's one side. We're going to do the same thing over here too. I like to open it up so I can see where this line is a little easier. And just like that. And then we'll have something that looks kind of like this. And we're going to do a couple more folds still. So we're going to take this point and up to where this V forms. So just like that. And smooth it out. And then open it up and we're gonna do the same thing. This point up to where that bottom of that V here is. Okay, so then we should have something that looks kind of like that. What we're going to do is we're going to fold this down again, 
This time we're going to take this corner up here and fold it down to this corner. So it's going to be at an angle. And it doesn't always reach the bottom corner properly, and that is totally okay. And then fold that. So you'll have kind of a flappy thing with an arrow pointing towards you. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So you can leave this folded or you can open it. I'm going to leave mine folded and fold it down. And then we're going to do the same thing, the arrow to here. And we're going to want this point facing us. So just like that. And what should happen is you'll have a nice line where these two meet. Just like that. And that's the first step. Once you've got that done, you can set that aside. And then we're going to bring in our second sheet. And we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to go point to point. And then point to middle. Just like that. And then point to middle. And then edge to middle. And edge to middle. you'll have your two points. We're going to go point to bottom of the V. And then again, point to bottom of the V. And we're going to go corner to corner with the arrow facing me or arrow facing you. And then rotate it around and then point or corner to corner with arrow facing you. And there we go. So we have two of those made. I'm going to show you how to glue those together. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up one of them and then leave the other one folded. So you'll be like this and you're going to flip it over so that the flat side with nothing on it is facing up like that and then you're going to lift this corner and you should have something that looks like that and you're just going to flop that in there and then we're going to do the same thing on the other side or lift that corner and it should be just this piece here and fold that in just like that and then you'll have the pink with the red arrow or your first color with the second color arrow and then we're just going to fold those over now you might want to try and line up your lines or the middle point to the middle but it, it doesn't matter it doesn't have to be perfect they will fold the same and I'm just going to do it like that on all four just like that and then we want to Go in and glue this down. And this doesn't have to be super perfect either because they are going to get stacked.
Okay, so once you've got those glued down, you can always give it a test by popping it open. And there you are. You have your first cube. Now, we're going to make six more of those, or as many as you'd like. You can put as many or as little as you'd like on here. But the more there are, the more fun it is. So we'll set that one aside. And then I will bring out, I pre-cut the rest of my paper so that we can just fold. So I'm going to fold all of them and then assemble them all together. So I'm going to speed through it a little bit, but here we go. Okay, now that all those are folded, we're going to glue them together. So I showed you already, but I'm going to show you again because I know it took me a few tries watching the video I saw to figure it out. So you're going to open one. You'll have a point that way and a point that way. And then we'll take one not completely folded together and pop it in like that. And then corner up like that. And flip it around and just that corner up to that, like that. And then just fold these over. then glue those flaps down. Okay, once you've got all of your cubes glued together like this, it's time to assemble them into a tower. So the only thing that is really important for this is to make sure you have all of the arrows, the little points facing the same way, and that they're the same color. So like that, and this one you'd want to flip around. You want to make sure that the base color is the same for all of them. And the arrow is the same and facing the same direction. And then all we're going to do is stack glue them one on top of the other. Just like this. And you want to put some pressure on it until it dries. And it shouldn't take too long. And then you should be able to play with your brand new fidget toy. Just like that. The ends are always a little floppy, but they still work. You just need a little bit more tug. And there you have it your very own DIY fidget toy. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.